So next I want to make a short video just for trying all of version 2 from Flathub Beta, and you can see the exact release I'm using on title bar. And anyway, there is the typical scene with Coco walking, that everyone loves to watch for some reason, and don't even try to deny it. And next I want to put a title on the scene. So we press on plus icon, we select the title option, and we place it on the top of Coco clip. It's CC, Creative Commons. And after the failed joke, we have our text on the video. So now from the properties, we can click on the text item and edit it. And typically say, baby wobe pictures. But if we want to change the font, that drop down won't currently work. Instead we should pick our font from the parameters editor. And I'll set Grobold, that is the official baby wobe font. Okay, all done. Oh, and we can change the font size if we want. So now we have our text ready, and we want to add a stroke around it. For that, we need to go to the node editor, and I will press the key above the tab to make it a full screen. First we want to remove this connection, and we can select the line and press delete. And next we want to add a stroke node. Right click, add, filter, and stroke. Place that somewhere near to the others, and with double click I will open all nodes properties, although I don't believe they actually work. Anyway, next we want to press Ctrl and connect the text node to the stroke input. And then we connect the stroke node, to the title buffer. That perhaps looks a little bit over engineering work for a title effect, but remember we can apply the stroke filter to every object. So, now our title has a new stroke property, but if we check on the previewer nothing has really changed. That's basically a bug, so I will press the P twice that I guess it means pause or something and that will unbug it. Meanwhile we have this nodes rearrange feature that doesn't work, and it doesn't even make any sense to work. Anyway! Next we can open the stroke properties, and obviously the first thing we want is to change the color. And set it to something black for the white text. And that OK button, not only reminds me KDEBS, but we also can't preview the color on change, which is an important issue. So we can now actually see it. And we can also change the stroke radius. Hmm. I guess I overdid it though. And moreover we can set the stroke to inner, but maybe reduce the radius a bit though. So that was pretty much everything, and now we can play our clip, after caching finishes anyway. And why not? Let's try to export that too. But actually the export crashed. So I guess the next video won't be produced on all of version 2 after all. Coco sad and Coco out.